Hello survivors, I'm the survivalist and welcome back to Carnivore's Fallen Kings, where we are into episode three, technically four, but it's only three. You can, this has been a bit of an odd series since we got in the start. One new thing though, along with face cam, is let me lift this up a bit. I actually have the mic on a boom arm or a scissor stand, so hopefully there won't be as many little bumps and hicks and stuff that you are kind of used to for my recordings. The filters are on the way, like just the screen to keep the pops down a bit more. I'm going to try to keep their edit those in the audio. But anyway, you didn't come for technical stuff. I mean, just I think right there is about good. You came here for some hunting, so let's get right into the menu. Okay, I think today we will try this Isle of Aladarius. And I mean, there's not really much you can go for point wise. It's going to take us a while before we can really get anything else, so. We'll probably just take this and see what this new map has in store. But with that all underway, let's hop right into the hunt. Okay, so we're all loaded in here now. Oh, I guess a little bit of odds. Oh. Oh, girl, you're taken down, but... Very odd lighting for... The map. I think this was definitely one of the ones I was more in development. But it's strange that it just seems to be if we were to go north into the rest of the map itself. Hmm. Now, I am going to talk about it a bit because it's something I've been running into really frequently with Fallen Kings. And it's, I feel like I can't really show off a lot of strong points to it, given just how much development it still does need to go through. Like, I don't want to rag on an in-progress mod and say that, oh, it's so incomplete and bad and that, but I'm getting to a point where, well... I'm getting to a point where there's not enough in Fallen Kings to keep a series really running on it. Like, it may have some interesting ideas with the rare variants for animals, but the points, the maps, a lot of it's just not quite enough, in my opinion. Like, you see a lot more of the rougher patches to it. You see and feel a lot more of the development that needs to be put in for the mod to run a bit more smoothly. Okay, I think that was just ambience. So I don't know if I will keep the series for Fallen Kings going, or I'll try moving on to something else. Just because, again, I don't really want to rag on a game when it's still in progress, or rag too harshly on a mod when... Oh, jeez. Okay, well, I guess we'll end that hunt there. We're already out of ammo. But it's little things like that, where... You only have the couple of things, and it just feels like there's so much not really substance-wise behind it. Like, I know a, I had a lot of recommendations for Fallen Kings, and maybe once you get the points up, they do get a bit better, but I also want to try avoiding... It's... It's kind of hard to put your finger on exactly. It's that maybe the end game's great. But the build up to the end game, which should be considered, really is not up to par, or has a lot of room for improvement. Uh, we'll head into another hunt, and I'll leave it to you guys in feedback. You let me know comment wise what you think I should do with Fallen Kings. But right now, I am feeling more towards the line of we'll put it on back burner and wait and see if there's ever development update for it that might maybe improve some of the rough spots we've seen. Well, let's hop into a hunt on Torvus Everglades next. Okay, we're all loaded in. But this isn't also a decision where I'm just making it spur of the moment. I actually did record an episode before this one, where I ran into a lot of the same issues that we even just had sort of on starting up of this episode. It wasn't the new map that we saw down... Oh, is there? Oh, yeah, there is the card hyodon there. 
or Cardiodon just blended in so well. But it is that I feel like I just come across more and more of like the hiccups and the bugs and just that I feel like I'm not showing off the game at a good time or the mod off when it could be better. Nice. And this... I mean, this is probably the most annoying part of the mod, if I'm honest. These tiny Calagrius. They're not a good Carnivore's edition, if I'm honest. Because you only have the basic one hit point if they connect in a proper way that just doesn't really work well for what Carnivores tries to aspire to. And I will give props to the commenter last week who did identify my misidentification. It's Tanistrophius is that amphibious long-necked marine reptile that I was thinking of. Tanicolagrius is indeed the little raptor things that we were kind of coming across in the mod here. So I gotta give props to that there. It's just, I guess the names, the Tanny Start is what threw me off a bit. I'm trying to remember what the name of that series was with, uh, what was, Nigel something? I think it was like Swimming with Monsters or something along those lines. Swimming with Sea Monsters. I feel like I want to say Nigel Marvin. And there's that, actually there have been a number of series or documentary, well, Sort of documentary, but more, I guess, informative television might be the best way to call it. With him, and honestly, I do miss shows like that quite a bit. They were pretty entertaining and and really educational if you were into the subject matter. Yeah, we'll just try making our way to the main patch over there. But yeah, I do miss proper documentary or informative television that you used to see in the days. Walking with Dinosaurs. Uh, I'm trying to think of what other ones are some good ones. I know Shark Week is one that's gone right to heck. I really miss what the old Shark Week was. It seemed like when I tuned into the last one that was on, it was just going over to the shark attack side of things. Like, come on, you're trying to educate people that sharks should ha be protected and you want to raise awareness. You don't do that by showcasing and focusing only on shark attacks and that. Like, it's like trying to save an endangered species, and you want to focus on how many they're killing each year, even though... It just... It's just bad choices, and it's all... You can feel like the heart and soul is gone. The business, company, corporation, etc. behind it was just... Pulled all the soul out of it. Well, we'll try making our way over there still. And yeah, my little rambling ranting about... The good old days aside, what else do I want to talk about? Um, I gotta see what we will do, because I really have to say I feel like Fallen Kings, I'm not going to be able to show off more strengths as we keep going. It's not an experience like Far North or Mandibles or Triassic that we've really done where you can see there are actually few to no real hiccups in performance, glitches, bugs, etc., Okay, we got a ways to go still. And one thing about the map is, for as big as it is, it's quite a distance you have to travel in order to get to more areas of it. That is what I might replace Fallen Kings with. I think I may slice back on Carnivores just a little bit. I know I have had requests for the Middle Islands and... Oh, oh just a couple of things over there. I have had a request for the Middle Islands, uh, Desperation, and Ice Age. But I think I want to hold back. We did just finish up Far North a little while ago, so I don't exactly want to go right back into another Ice Age-esque. Um, not really a mod, because it is the original game, but Carnivore's game. And Middle Islands, I don't know how its quality is wise. Like, I don't know if it's a case like Fallen Kings here, where you may be showing off a lot of the rough patches. 
I'll have to kind of go along and see. I do have some series that I may start up again. Dino System actually came out with its version 0.9 update just... Actually, I think just yesterday or the day before. So there's that I may return to. I That one's one, though. Everything's pretty well polished. It's more just whether there's enough new content to really warrant enough of another playthrough or a go at this point in time. Like, I know they added mushrooms and a few more smaller additions, but is that really enough to, say, to get a new series going that won't just be retreading a lot of the old ground again? But the big thing, I think, is I'm going to leave it up a lot to the comments. Okay, everything's still going okay. Just had a little hiccup there. And see what you guys think or would like to see on the channel. Comments have definitely been thinning out, so it may be shifting towards me just doing what I want to do to have some fun and put something out content-wise. I did want to try to keep your guys' opinions and requests and that right at the forefront included, but kind of hard to do when we don't exactly have those coming out. Not really seeing too much here, though. Like, I do admit I like the fog of the Everglades here, but... It's... you kind of find one strength for two to three cons. Yeah, we did get a reply. Yeah, the only problem is it's over there somewhere. Oh, okay, there it is. Oh, the problem with the force is it's so hard to get a good shot in through all the trees. But, maybe that can help us out. We'll just kind of chase them along a bit, and maybe we'll get to a bit more of an open area that we can get some better shots in. I wonder if the fog even affects their detection. Like, I've never really used the fog in other mods, or I've always turned it off, just because I thought maybe it would help for graphics and the game run more smoothly. I don't know if... I can't imagine it would tie into their detection ability. So if it's something in the settings like that, that's more graphic-wise, I don't really think they would tie that into the code to... how the AI or the programming of the dinosaurs will really kind of be picked up through it. Oh, there it is. Yeah, so let's just kind of work our way there. Oh, shoot. Okay, it's sauce again. It has an iffy detection range. It's the other one, well, we were, I suppose, close enough, because we were at 115 before kind of spooked off. One of the things I never really know about them is how their hearing is. Like, if there's a certain radius that we just don't try getting close within, or what, but... Okay, that's just you making noise. I just want to be careful about any of the tiny Calagrius, because we seem to encounter them... Well, they definitely seem to be circling around us by the time we actually notice that there's one near. <laughs> no reply, and we don't exactly have the wind in our favor. Shoot.
Okay, we'll keep working our way south and see what we can find. But I do have to admit, the concepts are pretty interesting for Fallen Kings. Like, the rare species I think are really interesting. Taurus Everglades, granted it could use some more land mass to it, but the feel of such dense vegetation, but actually being it, you still can see through it better than you can on the very first map. Which is very helpful considering how carnivores kind of operates as a game. Oh, there. Well, there it was. No, oh, we might actually have it stuck in a bit of a loop there. Yeah, there we go. It kind of got stuck in a little circling loop, so at least we got something. Let's try for the other one. Oh, actually, maybe we'll end the hunt here and just take what points back we can, just because I don't have a lot of ammo, and we are basically stuck on the single weapon for... Well, it's probably going to be quite a while if the series does continue, if I'm honest. Okay, and we're back into the menu here. I just want to see how we are sitting. I mean, we could try something like that, I suppose. Maybe next episode, if we keep going. Again, I'm going to leave it up to you guys in the comments. Fallen Kings, I do feel like it's definitely one of the rougher mods that could use some work. But if there is the request and the community asking for it, I will keep going. But if not, and I don't really see much really coming from this series, I think I will look at replacing it with something else. What that is, I don't know quite yet. I just want to see what your feedback is and how things are going, and then we'll probably move from there. But in the meantime, thank you guys for joining me on another episode of Fallen Kings. If you do like the content I do on the channel, be sure to leave a like or comment down below, and hopefully I'll see you in the next video. Until then, those survivors, please remember to take care and stay alive.